can't tell you how many times I plan a hunt to go down a particular way. And then Mother Nature's like, ha ha, joke's on you. I've got another plan. Tonight I'm going to be testing my last bullet in the Hammer Bullet series that I received from Steve Davis. The bullet in the middle is a 124 grain Hammer Hunter and I have a 143 grain ELDX bullet on the right uh, to show you in comparison. And if you look at the overall length, the Hammer Hunters that are 124 grain is just a tad shorter than the heavier 143 grain ELDX. If you look at the Ojive on the 124 grain Hammer Hunters, it's definitely narrower there, which supposedly um, helps with long range accuracy. Um, it also has a deeper shank, which displaces the weight uh, difference between the 124 grain and the 143 grain ELDX bullet. I've only got nine of these uh, loaded up because I wasn't really planning on hunting tonight. I literally just got back from Tyler, Texas. And so I'm gonna be loading up just these nines that I have and then the supporting cast is gonna be the 160 grain, 160 grain, 160 grain Hornady uh, round nose hollow points. I've had a lot of success with these on hogs. And since the zero on both of these is basically one click off horizontal to the right, um, it'll be fine for the distances that I'm gonna be shooting. Check out the damage these hogs did to this property. This is uber fresh as in black soil fresh as in probably happened last night. Here's the strategy for tonight. Nine times out of 10 when I'm hunting, I'm shooting out in this open area here. And I don't know if you could tell or not, but this property comes up to a slope like this. And when the hogs run, they typically run this direction. And when I'm shooting, I lose them on the hill. And you've probably seen this in the videos multiple times right here. So the plan tonight is to stalk myself all the way down this way where I'm gonna be above them. And if they happen to run at me, I'll obviously get multiple shots on them. Um, but what could also happen is if they hear the blast of my muzzle, they might run out into the open area out here, which will be absolutely okay because then I'll still own the high ground. So hopefully we'll get us a pig tonight. We've got a, a new moon tonight, so it's going to be dark 30 all evening long. Uh, the wind is working perfectly in my favor, coming right at me. And hopefully we'll kill us a pig this evening. At sunset, I could hear a hog occasionally growling. I spotted him, but these horses are new to this property and the hog wanted nothing to do with them. He eventually meandered off. 25 minutes later, I scanned to the north to see these two hogs feeding. I grabbed my 6.5 Creedmoor mounted on my hog saddle and Manfrotto tripod and quickly started working their direction. When I got within 100 yards, I scanned to see if the horses running away might have spooked them. I needed to get closer to avoid the limbs and the foliage growth, but there was a deep creek between me and them. It was all or nothing. The majority of the sounder had already worked too far north, so I targeted the last two in the group. I was fairly certain crossing the creek would have spooked them. Lady Luck was in my favor, and we'll pick up the action from here. The 124 Hammer Hunters slammed the first hog. I shot farther back than I would have liked on the second bore, but I was certain I heard solid contact. This is the first hog I have taken with the 124 grain Hammer Hunters. Let's take a look here. Not a big one. I'm gonna guess she's maybe 100 pounds or so. I'll get some tape on her. Let's roll her over real quick. Oh, we've just got a ton of these little pigs right now. I think we saw the sounder. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Check that out. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do a neocropsy on this one. That is an excellent exit. Let me find a stick here. Yep, absolutely shattered that. Okay, I shot another one. Let's see if I got actually hit it. Well, not the best shot placement. We got a boar about the same size as the sow I shot. Yeah, real young guy. I believe that's the entrance there. 
Let me roll them over real quick. There's the exit. So these uh, Hammer Hunters 124 are definitely a lot more destructive. Hopefully I'll be able to employ my strategy on a future hunt. The first board taped in at 35 inches weighing 150 pounds. The second board taped in at 33 inches weighing 130 pounds. The 124 grain hammer hunters devastated both of these boars. Stay tuned for my next adventure where I will try to double up on hogs with this bullet.